All right. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a card from a Game of Thrones, the card game, second edition. Catelyn Stark. This weekend, my group and I had a pretty amazing game, uh, uh, amazing card game. We actually ended up, the winner had 15 power, uh, the two runner-ups had 14 power, and the fourth person had 13 power. So it was all very close. Um, it could have ended a number of times in the turns before it did end, uh, if not for some trickery and and some gameplay. Uh, one card that came up with some questions, however, was Catelyn Stark. She has a very interesting ability. And while uh, Fantasy Flight Games has done an excellent job of clarifying as much as they can in the game, there are still some ambiguities that I feel slip through, and there are some cards that... Um, may still leave people scratching their heads. And this is one that did with my group. Uh, we made our decision. We scoured the rules reference guide and made a decision as a group on how to play it. And in the end, I think we made the right decision. Um, what it came down to was there was a challenge between the Starks and the Greyjoys, and we wanted to know if it would stop pillage. Um, because... If you just read the card, while Catelyn Stark is participating in a challenge, your opponents cannot trigger card abilities. A knee-jerk reaction is, well, can't trigger anything. They're all card abilities. But you need to fight that knee-jerk reaction. And, um, call up the the rules guide. Because uh, a lot of, in this edition, Fantasy Flight Games doesn't mince a lot of words. If it says something, generally it means it. Now, with Catelyn... Uh, you have to kind of interpret it a different way. Instead of, your opponent cannot trigger card abilities, uh, read it something like, your opponent may not use triggered abilities on cards, or, or something. May not use... Um, well, they, they can't trigger abilities on cards. You know, like it says, trigger card abilities. So what we're going to look at first, we're going to go over to the rules reference guide, and we're going to take a look at triggered abilities. A triggered ability is any ability with a boldface precursor followed by a colon and the rest of the ability. This includes actions, phase-specific actions, interrupts, reactions, force interrupts, or reactions, and when revealed abilities. Now the important thing to note is that it specifically means these words. You're looking for bold-faced, maybe not phase-specific action, but like challenge action, intrigue action, martial action. Um, interrupts, reactions, force interrupts, or reactions. Um, so if we go back over and look at Euron here, um, specifically, Catelyn blocks the reaction after Euron crows eye, blah, blah, blah. It does not stop pillage or renown, which are technically... Um, Challenge resolution keywords. And she doesn't say anything about interfering with challenge resolution keywords. So if we go back to the rules reference and go down to their chart, I'm looking for 4.2.2.3 or something. Like claim result. Process resolution keyword. Challenge resolution keywords. Challenge resolution keywords, insight, intimidate, pillage, and renown, take effect at this time. So the player isn't initiating these, the game is. So Catlin would not interfere with that. Since again, once you get to this point in the challenge, so if we go up to our frame. You're looking at the challenge resolution. You compare strength and determine challenge winner. Now, at this point, it's important to note that Catelyn would stop any card that's that that you would play that said reaction when you win a challenge. You can't play that because Catelyn prevents it. Um, gain challenge bonuses. This is if it's an unopposed challenge, gain a power. If you win a challenge against a rival, gain a power. Apply claim result. Um, so this would be uh, discard a card from your hand, gain a power. Say Catelyn had the warfare icon, 
Uh, it would be discard, uh, you know, kill character. And that brings us to, if we take a look at, uh, just because it's an image I have at the ready, if we look at bodyguard, interrupt. When attached character would be killed or discarded from play, sacrifice bodyguard to save that character. You couldn't use this ability because it is a bold face interrupt followed by a colon. Um, so you would not be able to use a bodyguard to save a character if, uh, say, Catelyn had Sirius training and you had to beat you in a warfare challenge. So if we go back to Euron's Crow's Eye, when we get down to the uh, 4.2.5 process challenge keywords, the game is initiating Pillage and Renown. Now the first player gets to decide in what order those go in. Uh, so he could say, all right, we're going to do Pillage first. So Pillage activates and asks Euron's player, do you want to do you want to discard the top card of your opponent's deck? Uh, they say yes. Uh, so they discard the top card of their deck. Now Euron would not be able to activate this because it says reaction colon in bold. Uh, so Catelyn blocks this ability. After Euron throws eye discards a card using Pillage, put a location from the losing opponent's discard pile into play under your control. He would not benefit from this because Catelyn is stopping it. And then they would process Renown, and that would ask the player, would you like to gain a power for winning this challenge? They say yes. Euron Crow's Eye gains a power. Catelyn does not block any of this. Um, again, to be clear, d to make it the most simple as possible, Catelyn only blocks bold-faced action, reaction, uh, and interrupt ability is followed by a colon. And those actions could be martial action, challenge action, dominance. Well, it wouldn't be dominance or martial because she wouldn't be in a challenge. Um, but for other cards that might interact with triggered abilities, anything that, that says anything about triggered abilities is talking about bold-faced action, reaction, and interrupt. Now, the other thing, the other question that came up if we look at the rules reference again and go to duplicates, you know, because the question comes up, would it stop a duplicate because of how duplicate reads? And if we scroll up to duplicates, a duplicate grants its controller the following triggered game ability interrupt, all in bold, followed by a colon. When the overlapping unique card would leave play, discard this duplicate to save that card. Cannot be cancelled. Catelyn would not block this because this is not a triggered card ability. This is a triggered game ability. And if you look at Catelyn, your opponent cannot trigger card abilities. And duplicates is a triggered game ability. So it sounds nitpicky. But Fantasy Flight Games, again, has been very specific. And if you ever encounter any rules questions, the best way to do it is to, is to be anal. It is to look at those specific words and see if they fit in the rules reference. Um, so Catelyn, while powerful, doesn't stop everything. You know, she's a good card. Um, I, don't, I don't necessarily care for the art. But she's not all powerful. She just stops triggered abilities, whether they're in your hand, whether they're in play. Because um, keep in mind, Catelyn Stark isn't targeting anything. So she's not targeting anything in your hand, which is considered out of play. She's just saying you cannot trigger card abilities. So when you would try to bring that card into play with an action, reaction, or interrupt, Catelyn's saying no. You can't do that while I'm participating in a challenge. Now, I've also seen some questions, how deep would that go? Like reaction, after you win an unopposed challenge in which Ashura is participating Stanter. Well, this wouldn't necessarily fit because um, this would be unopposed. But let, let's say it doesn't. After you win, let, let's say it says reaction after you win a challenge in which Ashura is participating Stanter. If we look back... 
at the resolution steps. There we go. Uh, it would be step 4.2.2, 4. 4. 2. 2, compare strength to determine the challenge winner. If the Greyjoys win, this is when Asha's ability would kick in. Because she has declared the winner. After you win an unopposed challenge, that happens right there at 4.2.2. .2. So as you can see, the challenge resolution continues. And Catelyn is still involved in the challenge at this point. It's the same reason that Euron's ability doesn't it doesn't uh, activate after the 4.2.5 or whatever process challenge keywords because Catelyn is still involved in the challenge until step 4.2.6 and after that point it's too late you can't play you you would play anything where you win here at 4.2.2 before you claim bonuses for unopposed or for rivals the second you claim bonus, you claim power for it being unopposed or for beating a rival, you've passed this window. You can no longer do reactions that say you when you win or when you lose a challenge. And once the challenge ends, you can no longer do things that would be reactionary to uh, using a challenge resolution keyword. So hopefully this helps clear some things up. Uh, it's, it, it is a complex card. It's a complex game, but they've done an excellent job of simplifying it for second edition. Um, and again, the easiest way to think of Catelyn is she only blocks specific words on cards that are bold-faced with colons that read action, reaction, or interrupt. And again, that action could, well, that would have to be either action or challenge action. Um, and that's it. If it's a keyword, doesn't stop it. If it's a game ability, it doesn't stop it. It is just specifically bold-faced words followed by a colon written on the card. Well, I hope this helps you out. Um, if it does, feel free to give me a like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see about doing more of these in the future. Thank you.